In 2017, I created Say Less Podcast. Then we created a network around that. I created a bunch of shows. We created a radio station, WTCP. Then 2021, this year, we went to TCP TV on Roku. So now we're on TV. So what's next? I'm thinking productions. I'm thinking movies. I'm thinking live performances. So how do I do that? Now I created TCP Entertainment. And we're going to do all of that. We got a bunch of new shows. We got the ladies at Queen's Table, Vixen, Two X's, E, Badu, My Ace, Hollywood. We got the new show I'm creating with uh, comedian Josh DeWay. I hate it here. He's hilarious. Y'all gonna love him too. Then we got Poor K. No, that's our first Spanish speaking show. I'm doing on site where I'm gonna be pulling up on people just, just having real conversation. But um, our biggest project that we're working on right now for TCP, TCP Entertainment um, is TCP's Who Did It Best. And it's gonna be business against business. And when I say business against business, I'm talking about COVID hit us really hard. So we're trying to do something to put, put a spotlight on these businesses that went through tough times during COVID. A lot of people had to close their doors. So what we want to do is not just have business against business, but we want to highlight these businesses and celebrate these businesses and put people back in these businesses. Um, but yeah, you know, who got the best cheese steaks in the city? Who does the best dark fades? We're going to do all of that, man. And TCP's Who Did It Best. TCP Entertainment's Who Did It Best. But uh, yeah, man, it's going to be fun. So I'm going to have the final say on all the cuts. So you know we about to turn up. It's TCP Entertainment, baby. Mics are hey. hot. Mics are hot. Mics are hot, hot and tasty. Hot, hot and ready and like a little spicy. Caesar's pizza. Y'all better stop talking to hot me this. I told you I would have came like five Bonnies ago. Bonnie. Bonnie. Oh, Bonnie. There was a rose on the. T- there was a rose on the table. Mm, there is right here. Rose. Yeah. Rose. There is literally <laughs> nobody in this world that is ex- more excited for tonight than me. <laughs> <laughs> No. <laughs> hey queens hey. hey welcome to the queen's table where we grow and we glow together maintaining our crowns while supporting our sisters as well and we promise to keep you entertained while always keeping it real one sex worker <laughs> to another i'm just like one queen to another adjust your crowns and have a seat at our table Ow. how was everybody's week girls Ooh. six and seven <laughs> <Ooh>. <laughs> It was it was a good week. I mean, it was it was busy. It was a little chaotic. It, it, I think it was a weird week because we're done with the holiday event. So I think part of the week we were kind of like, what are we doing with ourselves yeah. this week? Like, <laughs> limbo mood. Yeah. Shit, it never stopped. I feel like the ground never stopped. It doesn't. Still shit to do. But I got a lot of. I got my Christmas shopping done yesterday. Started and almost done yesterday. I just started today. I, I'm I'm so behind. I came out strong, if I do say so myself. I usually try to spread it out because I hate I hate Christmas shopping. I'll go shopping. Girl, you gonna come strong tonight? I came out strong. Let me tell you our secret Santas, (laughs) Liddy. All right, Miss Miss Bonnie, Miss Hollywood Bonnie, got me for Secret Santa. Dun dun dun. And if you can see my lovely gift, it's Ah. in bloom. (laughs) Me so horny. It's in bloom. Let me tell you, when I you say I'm they go run solid, this back, excited. I'm so excited. Like, don't bother me for two days. I'm gonna just. I'm telling you, put a towel down. Mm. I can't wait. But that's can't why wait. we don't need you. I this. want. I want a picture of how you look after you're done All using it. Hair gonna be fucked. fucked. Oh Listen, my god. god. It's not gonna be long. It's not gonna be long at I'm all. I'm sure. I'm sure. <laughs> just make sure it's charged up the whole way. Charged up. I will do so that. That would be the, the worst. What if it like dies? The, like mm, in it's the happened middle before, of, but it don't matter because by the you got it, me like there. I'm, I'm good. <laughs> I'll get the rest. Of the way. <laughs> mm, I'm very I can't. Mm. I can't wait. This gin is really good. 
Yeah. It smells good. Shout out to Lancaster Distillers. Yeah. We are yes. drinking their rose geranium gin. Mm. Ooh, mm. that sounds. You can get fancy. it at Zotropolis. Yes, Zotropolis. So Speaking fun. of Zotropolis, January eighth, we have a show coming up. It yes. is TCP Laughs, and it's gonna be litty, more than lit, with our beautiful body. Yes, myself and Kenzie. He was just here with us. We've been working with him too. Oh, we had a fun day with Kenzie today. We had a fun day. It's a little too cold outside though. Frozier. <laughs> Seriously. Fucking freezing. Like, How was your week, Vixen? <coughs> it was good. That's all I'm going to say. Oh. How good is good? Great. Ooh. Did you get some buns? No. Did you clap Wait. some buns this week? I clapped my own buns. Well, you, oh, that's no fun. <laughs> it really is. It really is. It is fun when you know what uh-huh. you're doing. Uh-huh. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, my rose is tired of me at this point. I think like, my rose is about sick of me. My rose again. put me to yes. sleep last night. Yes, it's I me. Sure I did. Wait. I can't wait. This You're gonna have a great to night. The best night of my life. You're gonna have a great night. I'm telling you, it's gonna be amazing. Yes. I can't wait to hear the reviews. You have to review and roses just like our other friend did. I mean, I was supposed to go pick up my boyfriend <laughs> when I was done here, but he, he could stay he, home. He, he he might have to. He could stay I, home. He might have to. He'll get a kick out of it, but that's not that's not for you. Yeah, I, but I feel like the first time I play with it, I want to play with it by myself. Yes, first. you need to oh, learn yeah. it first. Yeah, like I want to yeah. learn it. Go through all speeds. the speeds. All the speeds. Yes. That was weird. I put my finger in it to feel the speeds earlier, and it starts <laughs> sucking the fuck it out that joint. It was strange. It was definitely. I'm, it feels good with a little bit of water on it too. Listen, like you don't need no water. The natural water. Yeah. Like it's, proof. it's waterproof, yeah, but like, I I like trying like the natural. Things. I'm not doing that in the shower. Put I don't, a little bit of water mm-hmm. inside. You be trying to get clean, you making a bigger mess. Listen, I'm a squirter anyway. Oh, oh wash it down the drain. <laughs> <laughs> Let me tell you. I mean, well, I know you need a you need a fucking beach towel at that point. Mm-hmm. Yo, put the towel down. I'm ready. I'm ready. And I'm about to have 10 people come live in my house for the next week. So it has to be tonight. <laughs> Tonight's going to be the night. Tonight's the night. I'm going to tell them. Yo, you're going to be finding ways to disappear to go into the closet or the bathroom just I to use I need to find rose. like a dark hole someplace outside. <laughs> like where can I go park my I car told you, that's look, dark and nobody will find me? And I'll just you can come to my in house. My I won't be there much. In your driveway? Mm-hmm. I don't there's know. There's no light. Neighbor, yeah, there's no lights. I wouldn't want a neighbor to catch me. There's nobody going to catch you. <laughs> Trust me. My neighbors probably think I'm a whole whore. Trust a stone me. cold whore. Just be me and my rose thugging it out. <laughs> they probably be like, like she's at it again, Barbara. <laughs> Motherfucking right. <laughs> she's going at it again. No apologies. <laughs> Zero fucks given. How was your week? Um, Me and my rose had a great time. <laughs> no, it was good. It was good. Um, I worked a lot. A lot. I've been working more often than not, like, yeah. these past couple of weeks. I'm not yeah. trying to get used to this shit, though. I will say that. Yeah. I've been working a lot, too, so I feel like Yeah, I'm over it. Like, this shit is, this is stupid. Yeah. I was supposed to be somebody's housewife by now. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Look at God. Won't he do it? Yeah. Um, Nobody wants to win the Powerball, yeah. though. That's okay. It's coming. And I'm only saying that because I'm trying to manifest it because I need to borrow some money. <laughs> 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 cool couple meal. Yeah, let me let me hold shrimp. I gave myself the hiccups. This oh gosh. Well, show. this week has been interesting to say yes. the least. We have Get a lot of it. shout out to uh Dirk and in India. They got engaged. That was so sweet. Yeah, see big Dirk now. You know what though? I really appreciate that because just from like him being the younger generation, I feel like he's setting kind of a standard there. Mm-hmm. You know, mm-hmm. like now nah, we still marrying our women. Yes, you know? we are. I, Especially I when you know she's the one. I love yeah. them together. Yeah, yeah. Like when you know you she's found the beautiful. person, don't play those games. Like he just reminds me of a girl that. though. Like he's pretty. He's a little yeah. bit of a bitch. His eyes are beautiful. I won't call him a bitch. Like now. He has he a girl. No, face. he's got that round. Face. He's got that baby face. Yeah, like, like he could be a dyke. Like yeah, like yeah. he could be a stud. He could definitely pass as a he stud. Looks just well, like then call him. me one of the gays because Dirk is fine as shit. <laughs> <laughs> I love them. I mean, I'm, I'm here for yeah, it. Yeah, so. yeah, yeah. They're good. Yeah, I think they're adorable. They are. She's beautiful. I think she's gorgeous. <coughs> There's somebody else whose video came Ooh. out this week. Ooh. Ooh. Yes, let me take a sip of this gin. Should I change my voice for this one? I Girl. Think you should. Oh, Listen. my Give God. Give me that rose, please. I think you should. Here you go. <laughs> Here you go. Sure. Mm. What's his name? So, Hitman Holla mm. had a <laughs> sex tape mm. leaked. Mm. Okay, leaked. Womp, 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 he leaked womp. it. 
He, he did it absolutely on purpose. leaked it. There was fucking commentary. There was commentary. You can't sit her there and be like, "Her ass is nice as shit." Oh, it really was. She had a great yeah, ass. Her ass nice. is really nice. Ass. You really go, cinnamon. Pretty, she had like a pretty pussy. But they want your man now. Yeah. Did. Yeah. Her pussy was pretty. It was very pretty, pretty but it was right? tiny. It, it was. always makes when I see little vaginas like that. I'm, Oh, no. and you, did you, did you hit but is it small on the outside and big on the inside? Because you know he tearing her walls apart. Yeah, and he went. Yeah, the whole way. well, you he know they say the little bitty ones can take a lot of pipe. And he was pounding. They the said we be running, but we thicker than the snickers. We be running. Listen, I don't be running nowhere. <laughs> if, <laughs> listen, hell no. First of all, so what do you th- what no, do you come. think? I want to <laughs> sit on it. <laughs> What do I think of Hitman? What do you think of Hitman <laughs> versus Nick Cannon, who just came out <sighs> recently with his X-rated photo? I want to suck Nick Cannon's dick more than I would want to suck Hitman Hollis because his dick is like the girth is so wide that it just feels like it would probably like rip the corners of my mouth or some shit. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so serious. I'm serious. Like Hitman Holla got that big at like his when Lil Kim said Sprite can. That's him. Yeah. Yo, it's always the goofy ones. Like, it is. That but Nick Cannon, I, I actually watched Love Don't Cost a Thing today. I'm a fan. And you watched Drumline the other day. I watched day. Drumline the other day. Mm-hmm. I never saw it coming. No. <laughs> never saw it coming. See, I think the difference is that we only got a photo of Nick. Yeah. I, I want to see some action. Because, Nick. yeah. Nick, my DM. Hitman I was. You have more out there. So Hitman yes. was stroking. He was. But if you watch, I'd be stroking. <laughs> he was stroking. That's like, what I be watch, doing. I felt like his <laughs> rhythm looked off. He what? When I was watching it, I felt like his rhythm looked off. When you fuck, you make what? your own rhythm. He can have whatever rhythm he wants yeah, as long like, as you can dance back and you can fuck back. You're good. Like so, I was watching and I was like, I'm not really super impressed with. Now nah, he looked like he was. He looked like he was going for her jugular. He was yeah, about to like fuck he, up her G spot. Yeah. Like she was about to come from penetration. Yeah, but that was not leaked. Like he had comments. No, no he, he, he put, it, he out put it out there. He put oh, it out. God. He sent it to them because it was their anniversary weekend. He said, mm-hmm. and that's I guess how that, that's how celebrities celebrate. And somebody said that he can't eat pussy. What did y'all think? I think there are a lot of people that can't. Let me tell y'all something. I love all of y'all up here on the sofa and those chairs over there, and we close friends. Don't put me in y'all fucking sex tape videos. I don't need <laughs> to be in that group chat. <laughs> I don't need to be in that group chat. I did not ask for that. I don't want to see that. I like don't see any of that. Who shit. does that though? He's like, yeah, somebody sent it. Nigga, you sent your. You sent it to somebody. That yeah. shouldn't go any. Like who? And he, then yeah. he's like, she's my close friend, and she wouldn't deny anything that she doesn't prove or whatever. Like, so she approved it. Hit man, I'm I trying to get it. hit. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, and I I can't say I won't say we didn't see enough of him eating pussy to know if he could eat pussy or not. No. I didn't see enough of it. It was no, like a little brief a clip. Split like split yeah. I wanted to see the whole tape. It was way better than Kim K and Ray J. I'll see. Listen, yeah, definitely. I don't care what Cassidy says about you. I oh, definitely. Cassidy can't say shit about I it. I definitely now. would want to uh, try it. Yeah, I would. I mean, I'm down to experience. I think that I, it fun. looks like it hurts. Yeah, yeah. I it mean, looks it like very, it hurts. I feel like it was very calculated. Like Nick Cannon's photo got released a week ago. Everybody blew up the internet over it. He was like, he "Oh did, wait, I can do that yeah, too." Like, yeah, he I, said. He said it's yeah. a bad. It's a he battle. said, Nick, "Look, who's next?" Right. Trey songs. I'm waiting. I want uh, Chris Brown. I want to see what Chris Brown. Ew. Like. No, you know what? I, I can't don't want to see Chris Brown. I don't want to see it Chris Brown got either. Tattoos on it. <laughs> I bet that would be pierced. neat. Um, no. I don't think it's fierce. He just he favors my family a lot, <laughs> and it's just weird for me. Like fucking your cousin. <laughs> <laughs> want to play anymore <laughs> for some reason i think chris brown may have a big ass dick but you don't think so you think he does fl- he does flip too much I, <laughs> no i don't he just doesn't give me bda like he doesn't give me the big dick or i think that he knows how to fuck with whatever he's working with yeah because the way he moves his hips and stuff like that That's but why he be with the asian chicks he ain't no, like niggas little, with big dick, Scott, they look like, like the they... Yo, that was so racist. No. Trey Song's up next. <laughs> what? I'm so sorry. Trey is up next. You that want was Trey? Not. Trey Song's up next. Because you're assuming that all Asian men then have little dicks. You said, well, they're like average. Asian girls, so they, he must have a they little have dick. They have little tiny like vaginas. Little Whoopsie. That's, that's I apologize to all the Asian girls. <laughs> <laughs> She's trying to get us canceled by the niggas with money. <laughs> They got she said, well, they like little dicks, so he must stereotype the whole group of men. Eight. Well, 
Yeah. There, I, there is. Yeah. <laughs> you know, come here no more. You're fired. I um I personally I think that Trey Songs is up next. Shout out to all the itty bitty niggas with the big dicks. I hope so. I hope oh Trey God. Songs is next. I'm here for it. So wait, but wasn't his his was already leaked though? The girl giving him but head. Somebody said it, was it wasn't him. enough, and it didn't. We didn't <laughs> have proof. We didn't have proof that, that it was, was really Trey him. because they didn't incorporate the face. It was kind of like a point of view shot. Yeah. I need no. I need to see it from the bottom up. I want to see. I want to see my life flash before my eyes. I mean, look, Trey better not disappoint. No, don't, I don't come through will. with no mediocre See, dick he's, pics. Though. He's the ones that I. He's the one that I always thought looked like he would have a little dick. I heard he chokes when he comes. Oh my god! I want to choke with you. Oh, <laughs> like wait, wait, guy? wait, he, wait. <laughs> like they said, that nigga chokes when he comes. Like, like chokes somebody or himself or like. No, like he, like he oh. loses his breath. Like. <laughs> I would laugh. Okay, hold on. <laughs> I'm sorry. On, on that note, <laughs> like Trey, what the fuck it ain't funny. You? Did anybody read about any die. or like hear any excerpts from Will Smith's memoir? No. I'm not fucking checking for Will Smith no more. Hold on, he made it, he made things worse. What did he say? <gasps> so he was talking about in the memoir. He was having a discussion about how the first girlfriend he had. I forget what her name was, but it was his oh, first she cheated girlfriend, on her, and she cheated on him. Right. And he was having so a discussion skin. how this it was like broke his heart and all this. So he was just going out being wild. And he basically was like living kind of a sex addict's life. Oh, when well, he would throw up. Yes. So <laughs> what? He, it got to the point. He said it got to the point where it was like sitting so bad on his soul, the way he was moving, that when he comes, it physically makes him sick that he's actually vomited. In reaction to himself having an orgasm, you know, the only light skinned nigga that. in the studio. You gotta hold that L, cuz. <laughs> today, today, <laughs> today, you today not. You gotta not. hold that L. Today, you gotta not. hold that for Will. Who? Yeah, he said. He said he was like so desensitized to sex. He was having it so much and just like out. He was like it was so out of my character that it it became it began to make me physically ill. He was like, I would gag. I would. He said he would actually. Jay, just Jay, doing it for what? Jada made him put that in a book. Why you keep blaming <laughs> Jada for everything? Right, just always. Yo, Jada. I she have a feeling. Are you a fan of Jada? I'm sick of that bitch. I knew it. <laughs> I, I knew it. Like I her. could tell. I, I could tell. Like what is she? she? I can hear her voice right now. Go ahead, Will. <laughs> 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 you got to write this here. You, it's going to help your Wait, audience. Sure you what is she? There. Huh? What is she? Egghead heifer. <laughs> She probably did because that way she can justify yeah. why she's out here being a hoe. Yeah. Like, well, tell them that you're disgusted by sex Come on. and then I'll get, you gotta I'll back get something. Me up. You got to back yeah. me up, Will. Come on. Get I could see that being a plot because I feel like people, especially celebrities, like celebrities, especially to their status, they've been in the game a really long time. You you know how to make calculated moves. You know how to make calculated releases of information. That I don't trust nothing the two of them do. I think, I think. Will's doing some light skin shit at home, and that's why Jada's moving like that. Cause <laughs> Jada's shit like what? Jada's too comfortable. She's too comfortable to be talking about my man like that. And he lets so, her. So he, yeah, he's not, he's not. Cause I, I promise you, it wouldn't go like that. If if if, if he was doing, I don't want this Will, cause he's a whole legend. I'm gonna be real clear. Will Smith is a whole legend, but his wife shouldn't be speaking about him like that. But but didn't he take the ex wife on vacation? Yeah. Weren't they going on vacation Smiling together? Smiling in the pictures and shit and, like that. And, and Jada was pissed. That's exactly what you get. She said, "They went on vacation without me." <laughs> Let yeah. Go ahead, she Will. You go. Him publicly. You like, go ahead, does, Will. If he's gonna be sneaky or if he's gonna be doing something that maybe people will look at sideways, I feel like he's more See. careful to keep it in the shadows. I think she does. She doesn't really have a choice unless mm -hmm. she's supposed to just be looked at as a liar because she has the red table talk. That's like us sitting up here frauding the whole show. Do you think that she publicly, publicly yep. I do. I do. I do. In public? She yes. took, because she took, of the shit he did to her in private? She took August Alcina to, a, to an award show. As yeah. her date. As yeah. her date. And he's a young boy. Like, so you knew he was already, he's a young boy. He's not at the same stature as Will and Jada. If he knocked that down, he's gonna tell everybody. He's a young boy. He he wants props off of that. His career was almost over, 
<laughs> and he got he, he thought he was gonna get popping again by saying I smashed Jay. And I, I think that's why she's behaving the way that she behaves on puts things on blast the way she does because she's trying to make herself look better by making Will this look is like a, an idiot. This is yeah. the reason why I am the way I am because yeah. of this is what he did. Because she was moving silently until August Alcina put it on blast. Like, yeah. even when they went to that award show, everybody was like, oh, how cute. Like, look at them. It's, yeah, like, because they, they almost. like a little brother. They're in the beginning of their situationship. It kind of looked like she was his mentor. Like, she was a you mentor. Know what I mean? Exactly. Like, she kind of, like, they never, it never looked like real super romantic. Exactly. It didn't look super romantic or anything yeah. like that. But <laughs> Will said. When he put it he out said, there. When August came to us, he was sick. <laughs> 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 Yo, like the, the dick wasn't sick. The <laughs> dick wasn't sick. Yep. Yeah. Uh huh. Yep. She cured him. Uh huh. Yep. I agree. He was looking she a lot better when him. she was he sitting got no on music it. Music out. He is done. She done drained him dry. Sure Speaking of hoes out in these streets. Mm. 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 April Jones was spotted out this week. She's already ruined B2K. With somebody else. (laughs) She already ruined B2K. I cannot with April. Yes. You almost ruined my life, bitch. Like, that tour was, that was my generation's, that was it for my generation. I'm up, like, I was millennium toured out. Like, Uh I was B2K to the death of me. You loved the boy band. See, I never got into, like, for me. I love B2K. I like, like them too. I, like I loved them and, and B2K. Pretty, I used to like Pretty Ricky No, too. B2K was it I like, for me. I like two songs of Pretty Ricky. I bought I all the magazines. I, I left B2K school songs. early to record. Oh. All of, I had all the albums. I had posters on my ceiling, on my windows, on my vents. Like, it was bad. Yeah. It was bad. I was obsessed. So she ruined it for me. Always, Fuck you, April. Like, yeah. I'm sick and tired of her. Like, Stone Cold these, Whore. These, these girls, and I'm not, I'm not even going to say... You all girls i'm just gonna say april jones bless your mama you. you are a hoe like a hoe hoe and you're making the other hoes look bad and that's bad she's a homie hopper mm-hmm. she is mm-hmm. go ahead we we tiptoe around different subjects on say less and hollywood always defends them in some I way, can't defend of, her. So we try to fall back. But what makes this one okay to... The difference between yeah. her is this, like... Because I do... I'll go hard for women if I feel need... You don't... She clearly doesn't respect herself. Mm-hmm. Not only did you date your baby's father... It's not your boyfriend. It's not just your little... Jo- that was your baby's dad. Like, not one kid, but two. He was waiting for all of those years. Publicly with him. Went against his mother. That right there was tacky for me. You don't mm-hmm. go against a man's mother. That's mm-hmm. not your place. And... It just was out of pocket. She went against his mother, and then on top of that, she turned around and fucked with his his bandmate, mm-hmm. the goddad. My nigga, like that's your kid's goddad. You fucked your kid's god, like. Was she disrespectful to the yes, mm-hmm. yes, yeah. yeah. She was disrespectful yeah. to Miss Leslie. She sure was. Yeah. Um, and that was on Love and Hip Hop. I'm yeah, pretty sure. Yeah. So she like she used to go back and forth like butt heads with his mom. You, that's how I knew. First of all, you wasn't raised right. Mm-hmm. You have no morals. You don't fuck with his best friend. Now you fucking with this man that just hit the ink ain't even dry completely on his fucking paperwork. But if it's a come up, says go ahead. Like, wait, no, hold your on. Your pussy, not mine. You talking about Dr. Dre? Yeah. Okay, she's she not was, with him. She anymore. was with Dr. Dre, but now she's with Tay Diggs. Exactly. Now she's with Tay like, Diggs. And he's married. Allegedly, he's married. But didn't he have affairs before? Like that doesn't surprise me. At he's all. And, married. And wait a minute, I thought Tay Diggs didn't like black women. It looks suspicious listen, is what they're saying. Listen, it looks suspicious. Listen. Like where, yeah, the body language. They were talking about the body language. That that was, it was, it was a, a party that they went to, and it was couples. So she went with him as a, no, there was there a party. There was part, a girl, too. But there was a party was inside. Two couples. Yeah. yeah, a party inside, inside the house, mm-hmm. was it a house or a venue? I think so. It was yeah. a mansion a party, I'm pretty I sure. So. I think the difference, though, like, I think there's those women that even even if they've been a little loose with the cooch, I think that some of them are justified in a sense of, like, I can recognize, like, maybe you've been through some shit in your life and you're searching for love in the wrong ways and all of that. I'm never going to She that moved like she got home, daddy issues. Because you're lost. Yeah, but this bitch, I feel like she's vindictive. You're clearly homie hopping. 
and you're a gold digger because you just keep going down the lane like you go one man to one man to one man to one man don't care what situations you're fucking up in between like that's that's ridiculous one that's thing a, i will give her props like, for though she ain't never really hit who she was she ain't come out here saying i'm super this i'm super that shorty done patted her pussy on ig live like yeah when i saw her do that oh, oh so you're really for the streets like and you just she's mm-hmm. that's a hoe because she didn't start out that way i feel like when she was first with omarion it was kind of like oh you know like it was cute she was she accepted. tried to mold, yeah, like she, she molded played herself that role. for what he was because he would never i can't see him having two kids to her but like once she once her and fizz got together it's just been like downhill since then because yeah. everybody saw her true colors mm-hmm. you know everybody saw how she really moves and how she, she really was even down. turning him B2K. against his his uh kid's mom mm-hmm. um what's her name um, Shanice? who no, no not uh, Shanice. um slaughter Monice. Monice Monice slaughter. slaughter. yeah mm-hmm. That's why I said it's just all bad. Shut like I'm surprised I she's not hanging with you, Brittany April. Brenner. She might. They'd be perfect friends. They'd be perfect friends. They, they, um, <laughs> perfect friends. they, they would, would be. be. They would be. They would probably get along. But days. these niggas is out here coming at her and stuff like that. You know what I mean? So we can only blame the women for so much because the men allowed them to do it too. Yeah. Yeah. I'm curious what kind of damage she must have grown up with. That I don't give a fuck. They are You're a grown ass like, woman, and I don't appreciate. I can't appreciate that kind of stuff anymore either because I used to say I had daddy issues, but then I I had to pat my own mouth and ah, ah, stop saying that. Yeah. No, I'm a grown ass woman, and I take accountability for my fucking actions. I mm-hmm. fucked up a lot when I was younger and stuff mm-hmm. like that, but I learned from my mistakes yeah. and I've corrected it. Because even if you have daddy issues, you have a choice. Exactly. In the moment. You exactly. still have a choice in that. I ain't got daddy issues no more. And how to act? Yeah. Like, I am delivered. If you I've and been that's delivered. my thing is too. Like if there's somebody that's standing there, like I got daddy issues, I got trust issues, I got this, so that justifies the way I behave. No, fix it. At w- exactly. At what point do you stop and go? I have these issues. Let now me let me that. address them and be a better human being. So I have a question. Why the guys see how she moves, mm-hmm. and these are like. Established, are established, established men, you know what I mean. So why are they going after somebody that, like she don't even have? Because it's like, easy she and, she, and they know she's not gonna. All I gotta do is take her out sometimes and fuck her. I can get, I can get whatever the fuck I want. Mm-hmm. They know exactly what mm-hmm. they're getting with her. Yeah, and it is publicity. People are talking about her. So if you get like Tay Diggs, when was the last time we talked about Tay Diggs? When you um, say he all didn't American. Now, when you say he, he didn't like white women. I mean, yeah. black women. All American and it's TikTok. His TikTok yeah, was, like, is weird. It's I, I funny still, though. <laughs> it's funny. I still it doesn't sit right with me. It's just it's just weird. What April? Yeah, and like Tay? yeah, like it doesn't he doesn't. Sit. He's not ours anyway. So well, just, I don't. And just with the the whole thing in general, as far as like them, she can have him. Bye. I don't. I don't claim him. She either. can have he's, him. He's out in his own. Yeah, life. he's not. He ever he since he came him. out, and he was all kind of. I don't date black women. We don't want you either, bro. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Nah, he didn't disown us, but he definitely let he it be known. He was like, like talking he bad likes about he black likes. women. Yeah, yeah. He he likes white women. And after you done sat like in the wood women. and acted like you're down for us. No, I don't. Yeah, think like he won't date a black woman. Yeah. You came from a black woman. Mm-hmm. Yeah, like how can you say that? Your bald headed grandma. That's why you don't see him with none of his family <laughs> why members. Why she gotta probably. be bald headed? I disowned his ass. Yeah, like what trauma happened to you that you're so? When he was young, all the black girls own. probably used to call him crunchy. Maybe, maybe he grew up like being tortured. I don't know. I've never gotten that much. I'm, I'm the same way. Like I have my preferences. I love me a Spanish man. Give me a tall Spanish man with some tattoos. I will lose my motherfucking mind. Rompe los papi. Yeah, but I'm equal opportunity. Like say, fuck all white men exactly. I mean, a little bit. I just say that a little bit. <laughs> I was going to say, well, I know I just, I absolutely does. one show. Yeah, I just, yeah, absolutely <laughs> does. say that a little bit. They're just not Y'all better preference. off talking to me. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Real shit. Y'all it's better off talking to me. It's just not my preference. Here. It worries me. It might glow in the dark. I don't know what's about to happen. Like, it's just, it's concerning. It tastes like metal. Well, it's tastes Chris, like metal, like I think, pennies, I think right? Chris Brown's like might glow in the dark, too. Why would his? Because he's like. Almost your complexion. <laughs> no, he's darker than me. Nah, no. <laughs> <laughs> like, Reb, we're going to do a standby side by side so we can see. <laughs> Poor Red. He's not even here to defend himself. <laughs> 
So in other news, we have Nene Leaks. Nene Leaks is, and I'm first. We can start with condolences to losing your husband. Um, but she has come out this this week, three months later. After the See death. what had happened was, yeah, she. Uh, it was her birthday, mm-hmm. so her son, who's never done this for her before, and she said she didn't want it. He threw her a party. So at this party, she popped out with her new boo. She was throwing that thing in a circle on that man. And everybody's offended by it. Mm-hmm. Do you understand why? I don't. Do I you don't. understand why everybody's offended because um, she's moved on? Because they're not minding their own business. That part. Um, but I, I think that it has to do with the whole intimacy thing. And I think I shared it on a Say Less post. Um, but people need to get in tune with their intimacy. Like It's not all about sex or, and all that mm-hmm. stuff. If you're content with that person, then you're content with that person. If you feel as though that you need to move on to be with somebody else, then go ahead and do that. Like, it's not anybody else's business. Right. I think the thing is, too, that people miss sometimes. Like, this man was sick. Yeah. Her, 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 her ex-husband or Craig, he has been great. Yeah. I don't know if it's ex or current husband. I'm he not was sure. her husband, I'm pretty sure, when he passed Yeah. Away. Like, I'm not sure what their situation that They did get remarried, right, after mm-hmm. they got divorced. Mm-hmm. My thing is like, okay, so like if you if you're in a marriage, right, and you've been together for years and your partner gets Alzheimer's or dementia and they sit there and say, like, I know you're gonna be by my side, but I also want you to be happy. The point's gonna come where I'm not gonna remember you, I'm not gonna view you as my wife, I want you to be content. Mm -hmm. Now that person's eventually going to pass away from that disease. Mm -hmm. If you've moved on in the meantime because your relationship, the dynamics of that marriage has changed, that's no longer your partner. Now you are a caretaker. Right. And that could very well have been the situation for her. Now she's a caretaker. She's not viewing this man as her husband anymore. She's viewing him. That was like more as so her patient. best friend. Mm-hmm. Exactly. Like they were best friends. So that's not to say, but also she might have already made his peace before he left. If you know a person is going to die, there is that moment where you you come to a realization, like when you know it's coming, you make your peace with it. So so who's to say how long she should wait? And who you knows? Know? They probably already had a conversation. I bet you they know? did. I bet they did. Exactly. Yeah. He told her to be happy. Right. Yeah. Yeah, it came out uh, yesterday that he gave yeah. his blessing. So. Mm-hmm. And I think that moment comes, like, especially if you've watched your spouse suffer for years and right. years and years. When they do pass away, like, yeah, you're hurt about it. But I think a part of you is almost relieved. Because you know they're in a safer place now. They're in a healthier, you know, they're not suffering anymore. This is going to be my therapy session. Okay, so it happened to me. Yeah. I lost my boyfriend at the time. Mm -hmm. And it didn't take me as long as I thought it would to move on. Mm -hmm. And I think that it was because we weren't on the best of terms. Mm -hmm. Nobody else knew that, though, Mm -hmm. because I was very private about our situation. Mm -hmm. He was private about it. We were all but pretty much broken up you know what i mean so when it happened like if people would have known that i was kind of like already trying anyway to get over the situation Mm -hmm. prior to him passing but boom then he passes away and i mourn like i had no choice but to mourn because i was thinking about breaking up with him before that and before like we had had those conversations that doesn't mean that i loved him any less Mm -hmm. you know what i mean like that doesn't mean that i don't get to drown in my sorrows or say what was me for a little bit you know what i mean mm-hmm. i Especially think that if you don't have that chance to say goodbye exactly mm-hmm. that it changes things so i went through it but i went through it a little bit different than nini did so for the fact that she even had the option to have closure with that man that's a blessing in itself yeah. mm-hmm. it really is it really is for real for real yeah i but just wish people would mind her fucking business yeah. like let her grieve the way she grieves the way that i grieved i threw myself back into work i still haven't completely dealt with it yeah and this is going on nine years later I think people project, and so when news like this comes out, they project their feelings, their personal feelings about right. some shit they had. Because I, I can admittedly say that's what I did with this Nene Leak story. Mm-hmm. I didn't know shit about shit. I, I don't keep up on reality TV. I don't know, but I was attached to a situation where, like I said on Say Less, I saw somebody move on quickly, and this other person that they moved on from was his family to me. I mean, I felt the way. And you You're know, going to, yeah. and even now, like you know I mean, right. like now I just lost my mother, and my dad has one hundred percent. He he can move on if he wants to, but I don't know if I'm ever gonna be ready for that. I don't know if there's ever gonna be a, a good time for me for that. 
but it's not wrong. Exactly. He does. My my father deserves, he deserves to be, to be happy. happy. Yeah. And I think it's a similar situation. Like I mean, your mom wasn't doing well. You know, she had. I'm he sure did had an amazing job taking care of yeah. her. And that's kind of I can't say for certain because I wasn't. You know what I mean? Keeping mm-hmm. up on Nene and Greg, but she took care of him until mm-hmm. he closed his eyes. Mm-hmm. You can't. Ask you know what I mean? That. that right there, like she deserves props for that for yeah. real. Because she didn't have to. Yeah. And at the end, and of they the should day, be applauding her for that instead yeah. of instead of coming. No, at but her. they'll criticize her, and that what they're not realizing is she might already fuck with that might fuck with her in her head anyway. Yeah. Mm-hmm. The and fact this person that could really love her, this person could treat her well, and it's gonna fuck up. Yo, her you have dynamic. no idea the type of questions that will run through your head. Like, mm-hmm. how would they feel about this? Mm-hmm. You have to make up your own. You have to make it okay for yourself. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? And you don't have that person there to be like, no, it's okay. I'm happy for you. Do whatever. But everybody on the outside is having all these opinions, and it doesn't make it any better when you're a celebrity. I can only imagine the comments people were leaving her and the hate messages she got. Like, that shit is, it's hard. I feel for her. I'm sure. And, I, I mean, what's, what's the arbitrary number that you people think should be set at this? Is it six months? Uh, Google said year? 12 to 18 months. 12 to 18 months? Thank you. That right. is the correct answer. Yes. That is the correct answer. Yeah, what I he don't said. like when you when you have these people like, oh, it's too soon. What the when when the fuck's the right time? Tell me when you think the right time is. The correct answer is when they heal. But that said, a lot of these people do move on before they heal because they want to yeah. feel. No, yeah. like, I got a mic. Oh, okay. But before they heal because. Yeah. Like I said on Say Less, women are emotional creatures. I mean, and when you lose a spouse, or something, you're hurting, you're grieving. You don't want to be alone during that time. Mm-hmm. So a lot of these women, they leave. That, that's, that's that's natural. That's yeah. It's not, I don't think that next relationship is gonna work. No. But I think that works for that. I period. think it. I think it's it works to help filler. you heal. Yeah, I think it works to help you heal a little bit. They'll get your feet wet a little. Somebody but to that, talk to. Somebody yeah. to bounce your like. Can comfort. you imagine? I th- and that's the thing. That's the problem for me, too. When it came down to my situation, a lot of people were kind of judging me from the outside looking in. Mm-hmm. But they had never been in my situation. Mm-hmm. I don't know a person at my age when that happened to me that had been in my situation. Mm-hmm. But yet they were damn sure laying it out. And, oh, well, she. But you don't know what the fuck I was dealing with behind closed doors. Mm-hmm. You don't know what terms we were on. You don't even know that man to speak to him if he was still walking this earth. Yeah. But you're judging me. Yeah. Mind your business. Like, until you go through it, you will never understand. Yeah. Especially when there is problems in the relationship. Like, with you, it was sudden. Like, it was, it was. you know, it's not like you had time to prepare for it. I had zero like, time. I went on vacation. Already, <laughs> if you were already, like, emotionally detached a little bit, like, yeah, it's still going to hurt. Nobody else knows what goes on in a relationship, but the two people that are in it. That's it. Exactly. That's it. Exactly. Like exactly. you don't know what goes on behind closed doors. You don't know the hurt. You don't know the pain. You don't know the bumps and the ups and downs of that relationship or the good of it either. Like you don't have a glimpse into a person's life, but at you all. Feel like you have so the best that. advice I can give all of you guys that are going through it, damn what everybody else says, and tell them to mind their motherfucking business. I will say, I agree with what my cousin said on Say Less earlier. He basically was saying like you don't have to put it in the public like the public doesn't need to know that you're seeing somebody the public doesn't need to know that you done moved on and found your boyfriend or whatever the fuck it's not everybody's business and if you want to keep people out of your business yeah. keep it off of social media period like you look at like vanessa bryant i don't think we're ever gonna hear about her dating somebody i ever. can't say that i think we'll hear about her dating because she's vanessa bryant the day that she answers a man's dm it's gonna go viral yeah. you think She's yeah. Vanessa I Bryant. She, but I bet she's dating. I, I, I don't. I, I can't see is. her dating. I can't see you her dating. Think? It's because her no. daughter was attached to that. If it would have just been Kobe, yeah. I think that it would have been a little bit easier. Not easier because she was old. That was her high school sweetheart, her everything. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It's a little different. But Lauren London, she's she's probably opening herself up to the idea of dating. I think they've at least got sneaky links. They've at least got sneaky links. I don't think Kobe Bryant's dating Vanessa. She's she's definitely got sneak. Yeah. And they died. You feel like literally a part of You can't I felt that shit in my stomach. Mm -hmm. I don't feel like in my stomach. I knew it. I knew something was wrong, something was off to me. 
And it was just a regular, oh, he's not answering the phone. And my friend's like, oh, it's all right. Turn up. Ain't no fucking turn up. Like, something is wrong. Like, I'm calling that. people, go by my house, knock on my door. I knew it. Like, you yeah. get that feeling in your gut and nothing. Like, I couldn't even eat. And y'all know me. Y'all know I like to eat. I I'm couldn't eat. I couldn't do anything. Like, I, I was a nervous fucking wreck. Yeah. Till I got home. And then I knew exactly why I was a nervous fucking wreck. You know what I mean? That shit hits different. So Lauren London, I she might be dating. I don't know, but if she is dating, she's doing it the right way. Nobody knows. Private, yeah. Mm-hmm. And that's one thing that I wish I would have did differently. And I mean, I didn't broadcast it, but bitches is haters, and this is I'm from York, like yeah. you know what I mean. It is what it is. Oh yeah. Hell yeah. That's why I say. I'm going to say it on behalf of all of y'all. Fuck y'all. Because y'all don't know what the fuck we went through. You don't know how it feels. Mm -hmm. You might have lost your homies. You might have lost your friends. You might have lost your siblings, brother. You did not lose the person that you lay with every day. You didn't lose the person that you used to see forever with. So shut the fuck up and mind your fucking business, bitch. Like exactly your main abuser your fucking your your sneaky link you know what i mean like mind your fucking business y'all have no idea until you go through it and i pray it's the kind of pain that i pray i wouldn't wish it on my worst enemy yeah. and i don't like a lot of y'all bitches but i still wouldn't wish it on you you know what i mean so mind y'all fucking business for real before somebody running your mouth mm. like y'all like to run it yeah because mm. that's 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 the other part too like what Yaz is saying I think there's a lot of time when you're in an abusive relationship, the majority of the world doesn't know that. We hide that shit. Right. The world doesn't know that. So if that partner dies, don't tell me I need to grieve this way or grieve that. You don't know the fucking right. hell that I just got released right. from. Speaking right. of abuse, let's talk about that. Mm-hmm. Why do women hide abuse? I think it's for a it's couple reasons. a lot reasons. of reasons. Yeah. We'll expose the broke ones, no? Yeah, see, yeah. that happens a lot. I feel like when a woman exposes a broke man, it's out of pettiness. Like, you mad he didn't buy you something? You mad he didn't spend this on you? You mad you can't go on Instagram and stunt like your other friends or whatever the case may be? I think that comes from, like, a childish place. Yeah. I know I exposed them because, you know, they were The broke fraud- ones? Yeah, they were fraud and that they had, like, they had money, but they really don't. Were they and- a catfish? <laughs> In the pockets, yeah, they was. <laughs> See, I don't, yeah, I've never. Definitely in the pockets, catfish. See, and that's the sad part. All the broke niggas that I dated, I love them for real. So I didn't expose them just because I didn't want people Shit. in my business. And yeah. I ain't want, I ain't want people to know that I was dating a broke nigga. Yeah. And <laughs> that's a fact. I, I ain't want that. nobody to know my nigga was I broke. That. I don't want y'all to know that I just bought that. And I'm, this is, yeah, it's mine. Mm-hmm. It's mine because I brought it. Like, you know what I mean? But the abuse is covered up. I feel like I did that to protect my loved ones honestly because if niggas knew how real it was getting Mm -hmm. it wouldn't end it like that yeah and i exactly like Mm -hmm. i don't want to i would never want to put somebody in that situation where Mm -hmm. okay now i gotta now i'm gonna have to pick them and we all about to stroll on your ass you know what i mean like i don't want to do that i didn't want my loved ones looking at this man like he's a monster because i didn't feel like he was a monster all the time yeah just sometimes but that's the thing when you're in an abusive relationship you know, he never starts out as the monster so we always look back on that person uh-huh. that we love yeah waiting mm-hmm. for them to be that again you know do you think that was uh made it easier to move on because it was like on the out like because it was in i mean all love See, I'm talking about two different situations but you're talking about when like the ex had passed away or the abuse no, it was it was a little bit of same, a little bit of difference, but um, it 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 didn't make it easier. It didn't make it easier because he was still going permanently. It wasn't like he went to jail. It wasn't like he was on vacation. You know, he wasn't coming back. Was part of your also relationship yes. Yes, but it kind of, I felt like as much as I was off of it, like there was always still that one part in the back of my mind, like, Hope. but it's gonna get better the hope. but remember yeah. who he was you know mm-hmm. what i mean like that mm-hmm. kind of stuff 
not realizing and taking into account the fact of all the other dumb shit that we have went through unnecessarily the shit that i was put through the times that i got drug up and down the middle of the fucking street you know stuff like that i put to the wayside and it was all for the wrong reasons so i look back at it now and now i'm grateful for it because it made me who i am and it showed me what i'll never tolerate again but i put myself through a lot of unnecessary bullshit I think sometimes that's the hardest part when somebody, especially if they pass away suddenly, mm-hmm. it's it's the what ifs, it's the unknowns, it's the could we have worked it out, could this have happened, could we have figured it out, could we have made it work? Like I will say this, you, that runs through your head. I will say this one thing that, and I tell people who like who will listen honestly and openly, God took him away from me because mm-hmm. I did not know how to let go. Mm-hmm. I didn't know how to let go. There were so many times, so many situations I could run it. And y'all be like, you what? Yes, I stayed. I stayed. I stayed. I stayed. You're going to die. Yeah, you got this pointed at you. got a shoddy pointed at your face. You still, I stayed. Like, I stayed. I stayed. I stayed. He disrespected your family. I stayed. Like, I should have walked away so many fucking times. And because I could not let go, I feel like that's why God said, eh. Yeah. You can't let go, so boop, there you go. Because because we feel like we can change them. Mm-hmm. That's that's what it is, and we don't want to seem weak. Mm-hmm. So yeah, we stay I didn't want nobody else to win. Right. Like and we, and we so we stay in a situation. I didn't want to see him live with nobody else and be right. with nobody else and make right. it all good. Like how dare you give her the best parts that of you? you. But give me. I no. suffered for that. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like yeah. I suffered to make her happy. Now we're not doing that. Yeah. I think that's another reason why women don't put those men on blast the same way because they don't want to answer those questions. I remember Absolutely. when I got out of my re- abusive relationship when I was younger and a lot of people that did not know. They didn't yeah. know what was going on. They didn't know what was happening. And when I finally got out of it and the people that didn't know found out, it was all of the, oh, I would have left if I was you, and I would have done this, and I would have done that, and I would have done this. And, and those are the same bitches the that would have sat on his dick if you yes. would have turned your head for too long. Yeah. Yes, but they're also the same bitch that if they were in your shoes, you'd be in the corner broken crying like a little bitch Mm -hmm. like don't tell me oh this is what i would do i would never let a man hit me if that man's told you he loves you a thousand times and one day he hits you you're going to forgive him because all you're holding on to is that love exactly what they would do what they would do that's why the things that i've been through in my life have have got me to the point where i would never I don't even like saying what I would do, what I would do, what I would do, unless I've been through it. Yep. Right. Because there's, you, when I was coming up, first of all, I thought I was tough anyway. Nobody wasn't putting their hands on me. But the difference is I didn't have big brothers. You know what I mean? I didn't have, I didn't always have big cousins. Like, Mm -hmm. I can call, like, yo, such and such is going on. Like, Mm -hmm. I didn't have that. You know what I mean? So I kind of had to fend for myself. And in fending for myself, it's so hard to get out of something when, somebody does stuff like that to you and then in the same breath they'll wipe your tears and tell you that they're sorry and Mm -hmm. it'll never happen again and Mm -hmm. i didn't mean it and Mm -hmm. you know what i mean you know that's not me like niggas will look you in your face and we know this boohoo fucking cry yeah boohoo cry and then go out and do the same thing the same night i had one time (laughs) i can laugh about it now (laughs) i had one time my ex he got violent in public and that was something usually he avoided doing. And it was let out, and he got violent in public, and the cops came. People called the cops. When the police showed up, I had blood, like, dripping down the, down the back of my head. He had cracked my head open. I had blood dripping down the back. My face was already starting to swell. The cops are there. This motherfucker started to cry, told them that I was drunk. I was completely sober. I don't even drink like that. He told them I was drunk that he was just trying to get me to get into the car and I was resisting. Started crying like a little bitch. The police ended up detaining me and let him go. What color was he? He was black and white. He looked white. He killed you. No, you you know him. I was gonna say you <laughs> you know what he looks like. You know what he looks like, girl. You know what he looks like. And that's that's uh-huh. that. For he me, cried like a little bitch, and the police kept me. That was a turning point for me because yeah, we only lasted like a week. What was that? Yeah, yeah, it was her fault. She was trying to break up with. The, he wanted to break up, and she wasn't for it. Mm-hmm. It's the same. Like I've had people try to stand up for me, mm-hmm. and I had to let them know, like. 
nah, sorry. Like, Don't you know what I mean? I'll eat it because I'm not going to. I don't want that on my conscience. Something happened to somebody mm-hmm. else because they were trying to help me mm-hmm. for at the end of and the day. Only, I wasn't ready to be done. And it's only ever like somebody interfering is only ever going to hurt the situation. It's only going to escalate things. Like I don't want to say that, though, because I don't want to deter anybody from interjecting in a situation that you see that yeah. you know is wrong. Yeah, you I know what I mean on that. But there really is only downhill from there. It is. And but my thing is, it was always usually it was usually in private for me. Mm hmm. Now, aside from that situation, I've been in other situations, too. Like, I got disrespected in public in front of my friends. And when I wasn't, like, I was like, oh, did this bitch just, yes, like, mm-hmm. all out my name, mm-hmm. all in public. And I'm just sitting there, like, I and my ass, you know, I always got something to say. I was speechless. Like, is this really happening? Yeah. Like, this is really happening? The most docile friend that I have, she stood up, she said, what the fuck? And I said, mm-hmm. It's, it's bad. It's time to go. You have to be aware of like, the quiet. Yes, like that. <laughs> the crazy. You got to learn. the surface. You got to learn when to walk away. I'm just, <laughs> I'm proud of myself. I'm proud of you. I'm proud of us for growth. Like, mm-hmm. look at God. We ain't, never again. I wish I would. Never. And I'm, that's not, the thing. I'm, I'm saying, telling I'm this not, time. I'm not saying that much on the situation because I still am growing and mm-hmm. I'm still. Look, I'm telling this time. My cousin will fuck cold. you up. Listen. <laughs> I know, I know I'm in a different headspace now, and I'm able to look back on certain situations and know that, okay, now I'm going, I'm going to go. You mm-hmm. know what I mean? Like, I'm not standing mm-hmm. for none of the bullshit. But First of all, I mean, we not going to let you. We got a little sister I mean, circle uh, going yeah, here. I mean, I, mean, I fought back. You <laughs> none know of saying? you but are it's safe like we if sh- you, you put your hands on her. You shouldn't be in a situation where you have to fight a, 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 a guy. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And, Cause you're you're a woman. You know what the crazier thing is? Half the time it be men that you ain't never seen fight another man. Exactly. That's who it always exactly. is. Exactly. Because he's trying to act like a man this by putting you in your place. This motherfucker slammed me on my stomach, pregnant with Ming Ming, then turned me over and put his knee. He looked like a bitch in my stomach. He is a bitch. And then said it was my fault. Yeah, you provoked it. You shouldn't then have said, said was, this. Then said you it shouldn't was my have fault. done this. It's my fault. Yeah. That's so, yeah, typical. I look at my little girl. So I don't talk about that stuff because I'm still healing from it. Yeah. But. <laughs> you sound like a nigga who irons shit on T-shirts. That's a factual statement. Well, let's that change the subject up a little statement. bit, though. We're going to leave that alone because <laughs> that'll get all of us in our bags a little bit. I'm still mm-hmm. in my bag. I, I, mm-hmm. I still am. I still am. Word. What bag. I told you, this is a whole new motherfucking day. First of all, I fight back and my cousin will fuck you up. Yeah, and I'm calling all of them. Yeah. that's Every single is. one. Every male cousin I got you. But. And I'm going to throw extra salt on it. He said you a bitch. <laughs> <laughs> he said you but a bitch. But that's the thing we can sit and say now because we've been through it. Yeah. We can sit and say, I know exactly what I would do in that situation yeah because i might not i have know done exactly it what then. i would do right. in that situation and don't be quiet about it like mm-hmm. you, there's no need to no. be embarrassed yeah, ashamed you gotta the world at now. the end of the day if i would have told more people i feel like if i'd have been honest with my situation instead of hiding it because a lot of people looked at it like they could tell from the outside looking in like oh i, I don't come around no yeah. more mm-hmm. or losing weight you know what and, i mean like yeah. oh my mm-hmm. god girl i was like a hundred and i was 145 pounds girl i dropped down to Listen, the head was pounds. big as hell. Yep, looking like a whole golf ball. Outside with scars and bruises and shit like that, making uh-huh. up lies. I fell. Uh-huh. Look, nobody can cover up a black eye better than me. I got the whole thing down with the green, Bruh. the orange, yeah, that, yeah. the undertone, no, the correctors. Look at God. Good at that shit. Thank God for growth. Cheers. Cheers to that. Well, Never going God. through that again. You need some gin in your life. You need some of that you Lancaster that distillery gin in your life. <laughs> Look, they had me about to drink the microphone. Listen, I, I, got, I, gotta, I gotta drive that big ass truck. Home and no, 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 I'm not really crashing. Good. It's really good. Again, you can get it at Zotropolis. This yes, is the Rose Geranium first. Gin. Yeah. Right, we all Uber at home. Safety first. Safety first. It's good shit he here. knows I'm driving her home. Mm-hmm. <laughs> all right. You're not far from me. It'll be okay. Mm. <laughs> so we got Christmas right around the corner. Christmas is Saturday. It is. I'm not ready. Who's been naughty and nice this year? I was all bad. All bad? No, I'm joking. I was good. I was a good girl this year. 
Why are y'all looking at me like that? I'm not even going. I'm not even going to turn my head. I'm just going to keep focused on the task at hand. Like I'm, my peripheral vision doesn't Tunnel work vision. right now. Fuck you, Tanya, because I just, I could see her whole head was. I said I was. I was good. I was yeah, you good. You had that one for the most part. I was good this year. I feel like I've done. You were. You were good, Bonnie. Yes, I'm always. Was. I don't want to toot my own horn or anything, but toot toot. I'm pretty good. Like toot, toot, toot. I am. I be on my best behavior, yo. She had the angel, the angel costume. Yes, I be. I really be on my best behavior, and I could fuck a lot of our lives up, but I don't. I be chilling. Yeah. Like, Shout well, out respectfully, to me. Yeah. Thank you, Jesus. <laughs> I do. I'm very respectable. I. I mean. I know. <laughs> naughty. Yes. Mediocrely nice. I have my moments. <laughs> yeah, you teeter totter on the side. I know you was bad. I was. I know it. I know it. I admit it. Mm, that's why I said mediocre. She teeter totter. Me? Oh yeah, no, I'm right in the middle. I'm like I she teeter totter. She was like, like, fuck them white people. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> she, no, I she definitely. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh, it's lit over there. <laughs> oh well, we naughty tonight. Yeah. That's you. Yo. Yo. Adjacent. <laughs> I'm telling you. I have my moments. You know what I'm not gonna be nice at when we Are, go out next weekend or let, next week. Let me it. ask y'all this. Are y'all getting do you get uh how long do you have to wait before you get somebody a gift? Like do you get your your situationship a gift or I think I would wait to see if they hint like, if they're like, oh, what are we going to do for Christmas? Or what are your plans for Christmas? If they start hinting around, like, it's, well, what do you want? Like, kind of a thing. Then, yeah, I guess I would. If you giving up pussy and a man don't buy you a gift, are y'all offended? How long have I been giving it to him? I don't know. If I've been giving pussy it to him. Pussy is not a like Christmas a gift. No, 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 no. Oh. I said if you're giving. <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> if, yeah, if you're, like, if you're fucking with somebody. <laughs> Y'all are sleeping together. Do you expect him to buy you a gift? If it's been for some time. Yeah. yeah. Like if we've been. If How we've much been messing, time? If we've been messing for like a month, I'm not expecting you to buy yeah, a present. No. <laughs> I, I think. I think. This I is think, my thing. Oh, I say that. I, I say that based off of if we've only been dating a month, I don't want to buy you a Christmas present. So. I'm gonna not expect you to buy me one because I don't. So I don't then, so then y'all just gonna have sex then? Yeah, we can just fuck. fuck yeah. We can just so, have how fuck. much money would you spend? Wait a minute, I want a gift. <laughs> you didn't how ask me. How much money is he supposed she to said, spend? I don't on care you. if we had one night together. You. Where's you my did? Christmas yes, present? Yes, I did because. But she interjected. I did. Okay, so you going? You if want your gift? If we fucking, I want a gift. Even after a month? Yes. What okay. if it's been like two nights? I want a gift. <laughs> <laughs> if you are in my, Jesus, if you are, if you are texting me, me every you, day, and calling if you me, touch the inside of my vagina. I expect the present. If you're texting me, calling me, we're talking. <laughs> I do. <laughs> I love my vagina. I love you, girl. You the shit. Not. The, I have her. Gifts. I love your pussy. That's I why have I her gave gifts. you. So what kind Bonnie of Bonnie loves what my kind pussy? Of gift? So what kind of gift does a vagina receive? A dick? This. No. <laughs> this is no. what it receives. What kind of what kind of gift are you giving a vagina? It depends. You I mean, if you got okay pussy, you probably get a gift card. I've always got Earrings, rings, real stuff. Yeah, real mm -hmm. stuff. Mm -hmm. I can't say that anybody <laughs> really. Speaking buys of me earrings, stuff like <laughs> let me shut up. Like let me shut up. <laughs> I like buying, you know diamonds, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> let me let me just say that shit. I can. I I'm yeah. I don't. I don't like to expect <laughs> things from people. Yeah, that's my big thing too. Yeah, I don't want to expect sorry, that you're. Me. Bless you. You're yeah, good. I don't. Um, I'm allergic to one of you guys. <laughs> is it my perfume? One. I don't it's know. Billy. Don't let me smell it's it. mimosa. It's Billy. It's the candle. It is the well, candle. obviously. Mm. Oh no. No, I don't. I mean, look, she see, look, somebody's uh, allergic to something. It's him. I really she's, do. She sneezes. She sneezes. I can't. Too. I don't know. I want. I want oh, something, but yeah. I can't. Like I. Mm, I ain't really fucking so. Yeah. 
you buy yourself a present? I take myself on dates all the time. I, I love myself. Too. Why don't we just go together? We need to, cause you're here and I'm there. But, but I the be thing seeing about you riding it is, I be seeing you. I be seeing you riding. Not up here, honey. You're riding around. There's got to be like somewhere in the middle we can go. The thing about yeah, it is, yeah, ex- we ain't going to fucking Dirty East Columbia. Oh yeah, I oh, guess yeah, Columbia the is the middle. Never no, mind. No, right? No, yeah. Thank you. <laughs> I'll come to you. I'll come to you. Yes, come to me. And yeah, I feel night. like we should. Yeah, I want Brussels sprouts. So I probably would come up here. Yeah. Um, shout out to Zotropolis. Well, if anybody out there would like to take Bonnie on a nice little date. I am dating let now. Let us know. I'm still waiting for my date. I'm dating now. I'm about to pimp them both out. So make sure you hit me up. Let me know which one you want. I got the rates. It's okay. Yeah. <laughs> See, you don't have to. I don't. I just want to have a good time. Yeah. Yeah. We could just be friends. We'll just basically. And if we weren't related, pretty much, we'd probably date each other. Yeah. Who? Me and you. Oh, yeah. I'd turn you out. <laughs> <laughs> I would turn you the fuck out. <laughs> you know I would. <laughs> I do. I do. Tie your ass the fuck up. <laughs> Think I'm By all means. You, <laughs> you want to borrow these shoelaces? <laughs> going down Listen. basically <laughs> i mean but yeah merry christmas to all of our viewers yeah, thank merry you guys christmas. so so much Happy for holidays. tuning in this has um, been episode 20 yes perfect gift for you uh, would be to get those tickets at the link that's mm-hmm. pinned in our comments mm-hmm. what's that not enough celebration for episode <laughs> 20 but wait we had the sec the girl six voice yeah yeah we, we basically made this a sex talk yeah thanks for coming <laughs> Thanks for showing up. Our, t- <laughs> our TED talk. <laughs> basically, basically, it's a gift. I put a bow on it. Damn it. <laughs> for real, pussy's not a gift, ladies. Uh-uh. Don't get your it man no count. pussy. Doesn't count. What are good gift ideas for guys? What if you put spice in it? Well, then you it's a birthday what? gift. That's Listen, a birthday gift. You know, I know you seen my post. I know you seen it. I the girl, listen, no, the girl with the icing on her butt and the guy with the icing on his face. Oh, yeah. He's Me and my future husband are doing that. Matter of fact, we don't even got to be Your married. Your future. Listen. Yes, you do. Well, yeah. <laughs> he said no. You would. No. You would. He don't would. Do it. He I'm just doesn't want to lie. He's not going to let yeah, you take a picture. picture. Listen. Let me be real clear. <laughs> I will do it 100%. But she's not posting it. I know I want it. I want the clown mask or the mask I, with the icing on the butt. So what's a good gift for a man? Give him some ideas. Queens might need ideas. <sighs> what a nice watch. You don't Has- buy a man a watch or shoes. You never heard that? No. A watch or well, shoes. then maybe his time will be up when I give him the watch. I've never mm. given a man watch or <laughs> I shoes. I don't. I. I. You never did. See, and that's Not my thing. I would buy a man's shoes, I and I've done too. it before. I. Like, I'll I go pick them out. What about that's a, what what they about like. a necklace or a pair of earrings? That's different. Yeah. Necklace, if they wear yeah, if they, necklace, they, if they, necklace wear earrings, shoes. Give I like to get your hair cut. cut. Well, I like Ethicas, just because I want to see your dick print. I'm big on the sentimental stuff. Outfit. Yeah, like oh, yeah. sentimental shit. Tom like, Ford. I'll get you a gift yeah. certificate to like the restaurant we You're had our first it. date on. What? You're pushing it. What? What'd you say? Tell them what you said. A necklace? No, no, no. Tom Ford. Tom Ford. You're pushing it. Tom Ford. What? Like cologne? Clothing. Right. No, oh, no, 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 no. Exactly. No, exactly. absolutely not. <laughs> absolutely not. Unless First your dick looks like the stuff. rose, I'm not buying you Tom Ford. Exactly. Who's paying for that? Uh-uh. No, there needs to be a limit. No. Well, go find no. these bitches and make sure you tell them that let's, I let's wear. Let's make a it size. clear. Let's make it clear. Unless if, your if, dick looks like this, if you're not we getting If we are, if I have that ring, if I have it, I'm going to go married. all out. I'm a splurge all day. Oh yeah, yeah. but I'm talking different. about for these men that we're dating. Oh. No, 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 no. It's a misconception. I'm so tired of women saying this shit. If you're nice, if it's nice, if it's nice, put the fucking mic on. Facts. Yeah. I've been with my husband for 15 years and with him for 18. I brought him a watch one night. He cussed me smooth out because I can't stand the smell of that watch. And I did. I smelled my whole whole thing. I was talking to somebody the other day and I was like, uh, but wait, though. I said something, uh, bro, man, I said something about a car. He was he like, as not. if I would ever accept that. 
Ever. But ever. I would, like, but I, but I, but I would definitely date Oprah if I was single. Right? <laughs> <laughs> I'm just saying. Is that like insulting to the but bride for the But again, for the wrong reason. I guess to because be your sugar mama. is but it insulting for a man? What if you're splurging on each other? To spend too much money? Like if, if, a woman if, if that expensive. man loves you, that man, if he's not going to be insulted, he's going to appreciate it, but he's definitely going to make the comment the, the you don't even have to much. spend all that money. Yeah. Like, you don't got to give me something I got. Like, well, why you spend all that money like it, that? Like, real niggas that right. really love you don't let you do that type of shit. This, they just this, don't. This answer ain't monolithic, neither. It, it's, it's, there's, <laughs> you're, yeah, you're yeah. definitely going to meet a man that will let you be the breadwinner and be okay sitting at home doing nothing, using your car, Eating up all your food, eating all the baby's fruit snacks. I just all see that. Like, <laughs> in my head right now. Mm-hmm. Can you pay? Can my you bills? pay my bills? Can you pay my I telephone? agree with that. <laughs> it's not even okay, that he so needs I'm to allergic. pay your bills. A here. real man don't have to pay your bills. He just don't gotta sit there and let you splurge on them. I mean, but I wouldn't splurge on each other though. Right. If I had it like that, there would be nothing to stop me from yeah, spending. Like, I wouldn't I mind would, it. I, I would but love to. But right now, and see, look, I have a giving. I'm a very generous person. So I want to, like, I want to do stuff that nobody would ever do for you. Mm-hmm. I want to do that mm-hmm. kind of stuff just to show you, like, I care about you like that. You gonna remember and I, what want I, mean? him, I, want, I want him to have the Forever. same taste I have. Like, if I dress I think if you way, both, if you're way. both successful and you're both financially stable and you want to splurge on him and he wants to splurge on you, I don't see anything wrong with Mm-mm. that at all. I don't see anything wrong with that at all. He might, he might take it reluctantly like babe come on you know you don't have to do this but at the end of the day he's gonna appreciate it right you could pay me back if he wants right (laughs) yeah they be letting them trick Right, if he's not, if he can't, yeah, if he can't, yeah, if he can and he don't, is a difference. Mm-hmm. And if he don't, then that nigga's a fucking leech. Mm-hmm. I've dealt I've dealt with a leech and I I knew that he was a leech. He had good dick. But I didn't I didn't buy him shit. He had good I, dick. I never bought him nothing. Nothing at all. What did he have good dick? Not really. That's How why. Because like, you, know you know Earn exactly what that I'm that talking present. about. <laughs> oh, turn that mic off and whisper in my ear. Look, I'm telling you. No, but that makes a difference too because if that dick is whack, I'm not going out. I'm my not way. going all out. I don't care if the dick is good. Way. That would offend me so much if you thought that, like, you going to make me come and then just ask me for something. Like, no. I used to hate that shit. Well, no, not that, but Especially I'm not. Especially ask you to use the car and then don't put gas. Oh, God. Like, Jody. Jody. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Fucking Jody. What gift? Like, I know a friend that went all out and went to, like, Old Town, Bowling, and all the old disgusting shit. A Walmart teddy bear? Yeah. I mean, did, and my question would be this. I would, I would accept it if I felt like you couldn't do any better, but you can do better. Like, you can do like better, put more minute, thought in it. If it seemed like a last minute gift, like you were. Not even if it was last minute. My thing is, did you only go out and grab something? Because you got Because something. you knew that you were getting something. Yeah. Mm-hmm. That's what I. That's what I mean. That's my yeah. thing. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, I mean, it's not the price tag. Like, it, whether you can afford it or not, I don't care if, how much money you have or how. I'm the I'm the sentimental type. Mm. So like, I had one year an ex bought. I'm not. Like, don't draw me no fucking card. Well, no, but like I had one <laughs> year. Crayon. I had an ex that gave me a Michael Kors watch, a bag, Michael Kors boots, like all this stuff. And he also slipped in my stocking this little five dollar snow globe because he remembered that I love snow globes. Aww. I don't have anything else he gave me, but I got that snow globe. That snow globe meant more than anything else because it was thoughtful. It came from the heart. Yes. You, that was something you knew I would love. Mm-hmm. I don't Paid care. Paid attention. If, yeah, yeah. I don't care that it cost you That's $5. That's sexy, sir. That shit's attractive. Yes. 
Yeah, like paying pay attention. attention. Pay attention. That little stuff. I'll take that five dollars. Have you ever been over the rest any day? Have you ever been gifted something that that you had verbally said that you did not like this, and then here's somebody's like, oh, here you go. Yeah. Really? I How'd you guys react? He wanted to see me in it. It was something he wanted to see me in, and I was like, I didn't like it. I low key threw it in trash. I did too. Low key. Yeah. See, I'm I'm over the top. I'm high. Key. Get the shit the fuck. No, I, I, I'm just I didn't want to do it, it in front of him, but I I low key threw it in trash. I did. Men don't listen to us, but we'll just leave that for another show. Yep. Um, we got our bruises. <laughs> <laughs> it's been episode twenty, ladies. Episode twenty. <sighs> and a bitch won the Powerball. Apparently, we're going on vacation. <laughs> <laughs> um, we'll be doing next week from a beach someplace. Right, <laughs> basically, because she said I can host him. Uh-huh. Thank you, super producers. I come ride my ass. We appreciate y'all so much. No, we're not I'm doing that neither. <laughs> Unless you want some hot shit up in you. Um, <laughs> and we ain't talking about no cum. Um, Ooh, episode 20. Shout book. out to us. Any shout outs, everybody? Shout out to TCP Laughs January 8th uh-huh. and also tomorrow at the Sugar Tank. Auditions. Open auditions for our play that is coming 5 to 9. 5 p.m. to 9 p.m. at the Sugar Tank in Lancaster. Yes. You guys are really dramatic anyway. Come on out and read for us. Yes. Show us your drama. Yes. A lot of you are actors and actresses anyway. We want to see your mm-hmm. talent. I always talk about I want to break into I want to be famous. Well, here's your chance. I feel attacked. A lot of people break <laughs> break on little stages you feel attacked why do you feel I'm feeling attacked right now well pull up an audition you are dramatic because i know i'm like you not <laughs> she's not she's not she is but she's not only i can say that <laughs> but this has been episode 20 of the queen's 20. table can we get two claps in a meow? she's very no, <laughs> no, no fucking claps in me now listen and action <laughs> and go <laughs> Amari face. Look. Okay, two claps. We're not gonna do that shit. No. (laughs) Meow. (laughs) Damn it. We out here.